Welcome to the Visionary Chronicles, a business strategy podcast where we provide insight to those looking for creative, executable strategies built around the latest disruptive ideas, innovative cultures, product creators, and marketing solutions. Welcome to the Visionary Chronicles. And today I'd like to talk about um, a subject that, again, I feel is not talked about enough, but I feel it's integral and crucial for us to talk about it. And knowing that most leaders, at some point during the development of their company, their brand, whatever it may be, is going to have to lean on strong faith and courage in making these decisions that are unilaterally put on them in order for the company to succeed. So with the Visionary Chronicles podcast, I hope you can see that my intent is to take what I've learned over my years and also talking with visionary business leaders, both as an owner and executive with global brands and sharing meaningful, diverse topics that not a lot of times are podcasts, business podcasts or otherwise you hear about, but they're critical to the success of any entrepreneur or small business owner. And these are topics that we like to talk about. And one of these big things is what I talk about in this podcast, our subject today is courageous leadership. You know, having this faith and courage to break through barriers and achieve success as a business owner and as an entrepreneur. And I find a significant part of leadership is crucial as you face barriers. And this is the ability to have the faith and courage to make a decision, but not only a decision, the right one at the right time. You know, when I mention this to business executives and companies that we work with at Liquid Mind, a lot of times they'll ask me when I mention the right one, the right decision. They'll ask me what I'm referring to when I ask this question. And what I say is that I find it easy to make a decision, but not always easy to find and make the right decision at the right time. And this decision is not just about a thing many times. It affects product, operations, the financial success or non-success of a company or a brand. Probably one of the most overlooked things that isn't accounted for in decisions is the culture of the company, those that work for your company, and then the environment we're in today with direct-to-consumer more and more important, people are looking at the company. They're loyal to the company, to the brand and what they stand for. So when I say this, I say the context is for them to look at all angles prior to making this decision in order for it to be the right decision. You know, a decision that's consistent with the brand's foundational values and the company's culture. You know, taking the time to make the right decision takes both faith and courage. And that's why I call it courageous leadership, especially when the barrier seems impossible. But, but doing so will build integrity into your culture long term. We always say that good news spreads much slower than bad news. And that's kind of by design. But I can tell you inherently good news is spread throughout the company. Those that have worked for your company in the past and in the future. And in especially with the voices out there now asking for opinions of what they thought of the company's vision. And the accountability and expectation to that vision, did they follow the words that came out of their mouth? You know, it's a commitment to ensuring that decisions are well thought out from all angles. And that's why I talk about culture. I talk about product. I talk about operations, financials, whatever it may be. These both financially and culturally need to be accounted for in these decisions. And this takes courage in the face of storms. You know, this will not be the last storm that you face. We're going through a significant storm right now that really, at the end of the day, nobody's really faced. 
But I can tell you what stays consistent with courageous leaderships is the ability to stick to the foundational values of what that company is anchored on. As soon as you lift up that anchor, you're floating aimlessly at sea in the storm. So I use that analogy to give you a visual perspective of anchoring yourself and anchoring your company and brand to the vision of what you originally originally intended that brand to achieve long term. You know, this is having a transparent process with each angle that you view, assuring you keep an authentic, passionate culture and that your foundational values remain intact without sacrificing long-term opportunities. I'm not saying you don't go after long-term opportunities, but more often than not, what I've seen with Liquid Mind and the brands that we work with, which are global brands, is every single time that a short-term decision has been made, there's been long-term pain. And if they would have just waited out the situation, adapted and adopted principles that are part of their vision and their foundation, they would have been just fine. It's very similar to the stock market. When you look at the stock market, people will panic. And looking at the future and the past is a good way to analyze where the market is going. As difficult as it may be, that's why you've kind of set the foundation of what your portfolio looks like. You set the foundation of what your brand looks like and what it stands for. If you stand for nothing, you are nothing as a brand. So you have to make sure as you go through these barriers, the storms that we're facing now just seem relentless, wave after wave after wave of bad news. But If you have a plan in place how to break through what I call these barriers, these storms, eventually the sun does shine. It's always been that way and it will continue to be that way. So be prepared for these storms, these barriers to come, but understand there's going to be a lot of decisions you have to make along the way. So make sure that in this courageous, what I call this courageous leadership, that you're looking at it from all angles, both financially and culturally, because people are looking. You know, we now live in a society where inclusiveness, cultural authentication, and a passion for your brand values are vital pieces to your success. You know, those who believe in the vision set by the brand and see a, what I call a commitment to it daily, are more productive and satisfied in their work. You can imagine being in a role or a job where your areas of responsibility or what you're looking to achieve changes every month. It drives people crazy. I mean, it's one thing when you're standing up in front of people and saying you have a vision and you need to redirect paths, that's one thing. But when you're completely changing directions, that's another thing. And they wanna know why. And more often than not, it leads to failure. So you wanna make sure that you're keeping people, especially in the environment we're in today. The easiest way to keep them content and productive is to set and stand on your foundational values courageously as a company, as a brand, and in particular as a leader, the one that set the vision, whether it's a team or company, I don't care, whatever it is, stick to your foundation, and people will trust you, and people will be loyal to your company and to your brand. You know, when I look at the word courageous, in particular faith, you know, faith can take on many meanings. But when we talk to people about what they think of the word faith, you know, most feel it's believing without yet seeing, a complete trust in someone to see you through. And it's a a great analogy to where we're at today with these barriers, is, again, looking at this definition of courageous or faith is that believing without yet seeing, a complete trust in someone to see you through these storms. And that's a great analogy for where we're at today and leaders to take to heart. 
A vision set by a leader through a path not yet seen, a product not yet built, a service not yet provided, or making a disruptive brand through a leadership committed to ongoing innovation, integrity, or the building of a culture that bonds every team member together. A passionate belonging to a long-term vision is where you should be looking directionally for your brand and staying true to the vision of your original foundation for the brand. This type of leader, this type of vision was set by the leader of Patagonia, Yvonne Chouinard. You know, some may agree or choose to disagree, but the passion within a leader's heart will drive them to success. You know, not every brand will want to follow Yvonne's path, but I can tell you and guarantee you they admire his vision for doing his part in providing for others' future your children, whatever it may be. There is a future out there and those that are committed and passionately committed to a cause or something that fits the values of your company carries a lot of weight with those who want to be a part of your company and or those who are a part of your company. You know, his passion is an example of many leaders who had the faith and the courage to be different, I call it. You know, those who are different, those square pegs and round holes, as Steve mentioned, dare to think differently when everything is the same, you know. So be different, you know, and have the courage to know you can conquer barriers set before you through a solid foundational, and I'll say faith. Faith will carry you through these barriers and foundational values of the company are a key piece of ensuring that stays in place. You know, when I discuss this concept with visionary leaders and the need to think beyond product or service and ensure your culture is authentic, they realize it's a crucial piece of their future. It's very interesting. You know, back many years ago, or not so many years ago, maybe even 10 years ago, it was interesting. You asked that question, you know, what was the most important aspect to your company being successful? And you would have probably found innovation, product, you know, innovation pipeline, um, strategic marketing, international distribution, you know, whatever it happens to be, all the normal success, what I call success pieces that make up this formula. And one thing that was traditionally left out was this culture of being authentic. You know, it's one thing to drive people to success, make sure that you have the right product at the right time for the right person. Uh, But there's also a big thing about being authentic in what you do. It's one thing to say you want to do something, but it's another thing to actually do what you're saying. You know, so they realize that being authentic and having a culture Around this authentication and a visionary foundation is a critical piece of future success. So when setting your vision or analyzing your already established vision, you may very well need to go back and rethink your version of success to make sure that that's in there. You will need to adapt to our new world, and it is a new world, as we all know. Um, Not going back to work was something that was unheard of back in the day. And also the cultural aspect of wanting to be a part of something meaningful was also something that was discounted previously that now is probably one of the most important things for a brand to retaining talent. So you'll need to adapt to our new world just as those working for your brand have adapted. So still, you must also understand the updated thought process, the decision-making, knowing who is watching and understanding their expectations to being authentic to your foundation. So how do you incorporate this courageous leadership through faith into your brand's foundation? And I put together five points. So these are five points that I think are probably the most important, but not the only ones. But I just felt 
on discussions that I've had with visionary leaders as well as running uh, my own company, having been with global brands, that these are things in our new environment and world that are needed in order to be successful in this courageous leadership and managing through the barriers we face today. So number one is building a culture of trust. And what I say is until your team trusts what you say through action, it's just words. It seems logical, but not a lot of people think through that. They think just because they say something, people believe it. Remember, faith is seeing something or believing something you have not yet seen. So in trusting people to get you there. So build a culture of trust is number one. Number two is ensure each voice is heard. You know, most understand that not all ideas are great, but giving them a chance to express their thoughts is. Again, what I, what I mean by this is that you're not going to listen to everybody's idea, but if somebody does have an idea, you should have a culture of trust and also that people feel comfortable being heard. I've been with many brands where people are just completely uncomfortable bringing up an idea because they feel they may be mocked or discounted because they're not in that department, whatever it may be. You can always strike down an idea, but the fact is that if unless you have an idea, you can't strike it down. So make sure that each voice is heard is number two. Number three is establish a vision. And I say this all the time, being able to express where you have been is easy. Being able to envision where you are going is visionary. So have a vision is number three. And number four is empower your team. Empower your team to be proactive, not reactive. Providing solutions to potential problems that are not yet issues. Most brands are reactive. Be proactive. Number five is be authentic. You know, be authentic around that vision that you've set, both internally and externally. Everybody's watching. Be true to your vision and do not compromise. You know, the barriers you face as a leader will always come, but you can conquer each without fear. Your brand, teams, community count on you to remain calm in the face of adversity. Have faith that all things will work together for good eventually. Um, in my new book, um, which is an Amazon bestseller, we just recently, fortunately, received an award uh, from Reader's Favorite as a uh, top marketing book for Reader's Favorite, so we're very excited about that. So along with being an Amazon bestseller, um, Reader's Favorite Award, the visionary brand, the success formula behind the most visionary brands is available. Uh, across all international distribution channels for publications. Um, I discuss these visionary brands and some of the leaders who successfully navigated their brands to generational success. And I touch on all subjects, as I do here with the, the Visionary Chronicles. So, you know, leadership does not always mean the most intelligent voice in the room. More often than not, it's someone courageous with the faith to know that all things work together successfully. If you are logical, compassionate, direct, and have the ability to see the future when others can't, they will follow you and they will be passionate. As I always say, stay true, stay authentic, be different, be great. Enjoy the journey. And you can follow me at liquidmindsight.com. And that's L-I-Q-U-I-D-M-I-N-D-S-I-T-E.com. Or BrianSmeltzer.com, B-R-Y-N-S-M-E-L-T-Z-E-R. If you have any questions, comments, um, we would love uh, to have you put a review on an Apple podcast or wherever you may be listening. We're across Spotify, iHeart, Apple Podcasts, Google, um, Pandora, pretty much every uh, podcast uh, we're available on. So I would appreciate a review if you like what we're, what we're doing. Um, also, if you've got any comments, please feel free to reach out. And again, always appreciate your time. I look forward to next episode of the Visionary Chronicles. I wanted to thank you for listening to the Visionary Chronicles podcast. And hopefully you find the information that we put out each week very useful. And what we found through reviews and when we were originally putting together their 
Visionary podcast was found both personal and professional um, advice as well as information those listening to the podcast were looking for. So we wanted to be unique in that way, and hopefully you found that to be the case. And appreciate the reviews that you've been sending in, and we would certainly appreciate you signing up for our newsletter as well, which is an expansion upon what you're seeing on or hearing on the the Visionary Chronicles podcast. And you can find that at two locations. One is briansmeltzer.com, B-R-Y-A-N-S-M-E-L-T-Z-E-R.com, or our company site, liquidmindsite.com, L-I-Q-U-I-D-M-I-N-D, site, S-I-T-E dot com. So we would appreciate any reviews, additional reviews, comments you may have, sign up for the newsletter, and we look forward to talking with you next week.